I V M. There's a quick survey to fill out on ivmpodcast.com slash survey. It lets us know a little bit more about who's listening to us. And you know what? We're going to do a few prizes. So, I mean, like, we'll do a random drawing of, like, maybe 10 people, and we'll send you all some swag. Remember, that's ivmpodcast.com slash survey, where you can fill out the survey. Hello, and welcome to the Habit Coach Podcast, the bite-sized podcast filled with quick and easy actionable habits. Remember, great habits create that awesome life. I am Ashtin Doctor, your habit coach. And today's fun fact of the day has to do with ejection seats. Did you know that pilots lose about one inch in their height after a successful ejecting from a fighter aircraft? You see, when pilots are in trouble and need to eject from the aeroplanes, they pull on a handle in their seat. At which time, over 13 different functions start taking place immediately. The acrylic canopy is blown away and all these powerful explosives push this canopy far away from the pilot as much as possible. Then rockets under the seat are ignited and within one-tenth of a second, the pilot is shot out of the aircraft on these rockets. Now, these rockets create a force of 20 Gs, which is equivalent to 20 times the body weight of the pilot. So imagine if the pilot was weighing 100 kilos, that means 2,000 kilos of his weight is what he's feeling on his body. And it's that force that compresses the discs in his spinal column. And that causes the pilot to lose an inch in his height. Now, being ejected from an aeroplane is one of the most violent and scary things a pilot can experience. Injuries take place and are very common after an ejection. But at least they're alive. What is amazing about ejection seats is that they have to work no matter where the aircraft is. If it's at 50,000 feet up in the air, which is very thin, a different ejection sequence is needed. If the aircraft is standing still on the ground, then a different kind of ejection sequence is needed. So the exit strategies are different depending on where the aircraft is. Today, I want to talk about personal safety, your safety. And this is a topic that I am very passionate about. I've read multiple books and attended multiple training sessions for this. And one of the key principles of personal safety is getting out of a bad situation fast. Just like the pilot in a damaged aircraft, it has to get out within one-tenth of a second. The habit we'll discuss is used if you are at home or outside the home in a new environment. Because emergency situations can happen at any time and at any place. Say there is a fire or an explosion or an earthquake or some form of violence or fight taking place. Your best chance of success comes from getting out of that situation as fast as possible. Creating distance between you and that threat is the number one priority. You have to run or carry your child and run. So clearly being in physical health is one of the starting point needs. However, there is a habit that is just as important as being physically capable of running away. And that is to have situational awareness. In today's day and age, we are consumed in our world. We have our earphones on. We have our eyes glued to our phone screens. And the world is almost completely ignored. We try to make sure that we don't make eye contact with anyone. With On purpose, we are not looking around. And as a result... In an emergency, we do not know where to head if we need to exit a coffee shop or a restaurant or a supermarket. What often happens is we just follow the herd. And where everyone is running, we run along with them. And this creates a stampede. And people die in stampedes. But worse, the herd often has no idea where the exit is either. And this makes them head in the wrong direction. If you are aware, you would know that there might be an exit behind you. Or that there is a window that's very close to you that you could use as an exit. The goal is to be ready and aware for anything. Without being paranoid or anxious about things. This is the balance that I want you to have. No pilot takes off worrying about using an ejection seat. But knows that it is there. So how do we become aware without becoming paranoid? Hence your simple habit has two parts. The first is to plan for all possible exits in your own home. In case of an emergency, are there windows, are there back doors, etc. And make sure that there is no clutter or things blocking them. I know so many homes that have a back door that are covered with junk. Move it away. The second habit is being aware and looking for exits when you go out. And this is your daily habit. When you are at a restaurant or a movie theater, you can always look for where the closest exits are. Something that I like to do is get seats closest to the exit. 
So this is important, especially if I'm in a crowded place like a concert hall or a sports event. I always try and choose my seats as close to an exit as possible so that I'm aware on how I can get away from a bad situation if it takes place. Like I said before, this habit is about being aware and not being paranoid. So once you have identified the exits, go back to enjoying what you've come for. Soon, this will become like a subconscious habit and you won't even have to actively think about it. Remember, as your habit coach, if you want an awesome life, you have to be ready and be prepared for anything that's going to be coming your way. Almost making yourself bulletproof. Finding exits, taking care of yourself is a very important habit to start creating this. Usually in a podcast, it's me who speaks to you and you who listens. But I've been seeing your comments and it's time. It's me listening to you. Following the overwhelming success of this podcast, the good folks at IVM Podcast Network have decided to come up with a Kannada adaptation of the show for those who prefer listening to it in that language. Do make sure you let your Kannada speaking friends know about this as well. Now, if you like this podcast, don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the IVM Network. You can listen to us on the IVM Podcast app or ivmpodcast.com. You can also follow us on social media. We are at IVM Podcasts on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to reach out to me, I am at Ashton Doc on Twitter and Instagram. We have a brand new habit coaching online course, quizzes, videos, and a lot more on the website awesome180.com. So check it out now. Hey, it's been another great week on the IVM Podcast Network. On All Things Policy, the hosts talk about India approving a fourth COVID-19 vaccine. This time is for children, and they discuss some of the challenges that are involved when you're doing clinical trials for kids. On the Filter Coffee Podcast, Karthik is joined by Amar Singh Patra, Managing Director of Spotify India, to talk about how Spotify's growth approach was different for India in comparison to other countries. On the Pesa Vesa Podcast, Anupam Gupta is in conversation with Praveen Jada, founder and CEO at Dhan. They discuss how stock trading has evolved over the last 10 years. On the Edges and Sledges Cricket Podcast, Varun and Ashwin dive into the first three matches by Team India in the Women's ODI World Cup. They also chat with Mr. Atul Srivast, the founder of SmartCricket.com, about player management. And the Simplified Gang gets into a group discussion about MBA admissions. Do follow us on social media. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows for that matter, please do tell a friend. Also, don't forget to rate us on any platform that you might be listening to us. You can also check us out on YouTube. We have a webpage, ivmpodcast.com slash YouTube, where a list of all our channels are. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors this week, SBI Life Insurance, Bank of Baroda, India Water Portal, and Max Life Insurance. Thank you so much for making this possible. Love fighting? We've got you covered. Check out our show, The Fighting Goat, where we, the voices of the internet, Arjun Chipalkati and Somesh Kamra bring to you crazy weekly action on your favorite combat show, The Fighting Goat. Be it commentary, breakdown, predictions, analysis of styles and techniques. And of course, your round of favorite fighters. <laughs> you can listen to us every Thursday on the IBM Podcast app, website and all major podcast streaming platforms.